What is going on guys, it's Gamers 9 Today's video, we're back with another video today. And uh, today we're going to be taking a look at the Microsoft's Flight Simulator F-35 and some airports in the A320 today. But we're going to be taking a look at specifically this new um, India Fox um, jet that's coming out to the developers that are uh, making it. Um, that we are going to be kind of talking about today. And I, I want to talk a little bit about this uh, article, maybe read it and talk a little bit about it, uh, this India Fox Echo uh, craft that's coming out pretty soon. Hopefully it comes out. I don't know if it's going to get pushed until next year or uh, it gets released this year. We'll have to wait and see. But anyways, today we're going to be reading it. So... Um, they're going to have the, uh, the C variant of the F-35 in development update. We're having a lot of fun with Microsoft's flight simulator while testing the C variant of the F-35, which is now in two complete libraries. The VF-101 line and the NAW DC Top Gun that has recently received the two first two jets are still some, still some work to do on the variants of Tel Hook, Weapon Bay, Field, pump, uh, field Probe, excuse me. Crew ladder and still missing animation of textures are not far from completion. So they're completing a lot of um, certain things that are in the uh, game for um, the uh, aircraft carriers. But uh, since we are speaking about the carrier, carrier variant at the moment, we are not planning to include a traditional carrier reason, being that as far as we know, the dynamic carriers are not landable and it's not possible to create a static ship and we do not work on one that carries ops for the static ships. does not seem acceptable for us at the moment. We hope that the Top Gun package will fix it soon. Or fix. We're also... This is kind of a funny one. Uh, we're also talking with Microsoft again not to discuss a possibility of adding weapons, even though the hidden Easter egg as the answer is no. No weapons whatsoever. <laughs> That's funny. They wanted to add weapons, but uh, yeah, Microsoft is is not allowing that, which is totally understandable. I guess it, you know it's basically kind of makes a lot of sense. And, and he says, uh, "We strongly consider a different differentiating of the market uh, part place, a non marketplace version of which the marketplace would being a Pacific and non marketplace having a at least a, AIMs and one twenties or AIM nines, which is." basically uh, guided missiles uh, gun pods obviously i'm talking about the static weapons the last recent release date and price we do not have a a we do not have a release date just yet so they don't know exactly when this um build is gonna come to fruition so like i kind of pretty sure this could get released most likely my in my own prediction i think they should be done have it done in 2022 or early 2022 uh, since this craft is most likely going to get done sometime by then. So uh, we are trying to have reasonable complete test build in the days, but we're still in some work several areas. So, but this is a cool statement from them. It says, as for the price, the final price has not been set. So they don't have exact price yet, but we believe we, but it will be in line with the previous offers, and we do not believe in super expensive add-ons. And as the best choice for Microsoft is a kind of aircraft we think that would be selling more copies over to the low price of the aircraft, which is some of the here, thumbnail. Oh, another thing is too. I just wanted to say that this is the thumbnail discredit. You know, just a disclaimer that um, this is the developer's picture. So I just wanted to let everybody know about that as well. But it is a beautiful aircraft. Um, I can't wait to get my hands on this monster. I really can't wait. It's um, one of them crafts I am kind of waiting for. Um, it's going to kind of replace my F-22 mod because the F-22 mod is really good though. But um, as a viable aircraft, I think it's going to be really good. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that this craft is going to even be faster than the F-22 Raptor. And uh, the real reason why I say that is because their Euro Typhoon TIE Fighter is uh, extremely fast, um, extremely fast aircraft. So I can't wait for that. Um, and then there, there's some stuff right here that 
you're talking about the A320s, libraries, airports, stuff like that that has been in development currently. Um, and then the article talking about availability for the platforms that it's currently on. So anyways, guys, I thought I'd go ahead and do this video. Excuse me if my reading was okay. I truly apologize, but I <laughs> tried my best. Um, but, uh, but yeah, it looks pretty good. Can't wait for this when they do get it finished. Um, but yeah, it looks really, really good. Um, I gotta, I love that screenshot. You guys are doing a really fantastic job um, on this aircraft, and I can't wait to fly it um, and review it and talk a little bit more about it. Can't wait for it. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you have any questions, comments, rate, comment, subscribe. I'll try to get. I'm gonna try to get another video out tomorrow or to, later today. I'm going to be trying to do. Anyways, guys, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Until next time, this is Kim Shine signing off. Peace out, guys.